I do believe, Lord. Help my unbelief. Those are the words of a desperate father who encounters Jesus one day and pleads with Jesus to, um, to rid his son of a demon that had been possessing him for quite some time. He's, he was admitting the imperfection of his faith. And he was also pleading with Jesus to help him with his faith, with his imperfect faith. And we've all, we've all struggled with this, right? If you're a believer, and if you're honest with yourself, we've all struggled with doubt. I think of, of doubting Thomas, right? Thomas, one of the apostles who followed Jesus throughout his earthly ministry, one of the 12 chosen disciples doubted that Jesus had been resurrected. Even though the other uh, disciples were telling him they had seen him, Thomas said, I won't believe until I put my finger in, in his hands where the nails went through and put my hand in his side. Until I see that, until I can touch that, I won't believe. And when he finally saw those things, he, he said, he finally said, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, have you believed? Blessed are those who did not see and yet believed. Even the Apostle Thomas doubted. Uh, you know, we all struggle with doubt, and one of the best things to do when we struggle with that doubt is to read the book of 1 John. 1 John was written so that we can be assured of our faith. I remember once my, a long time ago, my community group, we, we uh, challenged one another, and we read 1 John every day for a month. And I gotta tell you, by the end of that month, I felt, I felt a lot better. I felt a lot better about my faith. I felt like the Lord had given me that assurance again. Maybe that's, a, maybe that's something you can challenge yourself to do. Read 1 John every day for a month. It's a great book. Here's, here's what it says in 1 John 5.13. It says, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. We all struggle with doubt. But I, I bet that none of you have, have doubted as much as the one who lived with Jesus for three years and then denied him. Not once, not twice, but three times. And yet he was forgiven. The Apostle Peter, he denied Christ three times, and yet Jesus forgave him, and he eventually said, I want you to lead my sheep. So if you're struggling with doubt, be praying. Come to one of the, the elders or, or one of the pastors or, or me uh, at, at the church if you need to talk, but be in the word. Read First John. And ask the Lord to give you that assurance of your faith. I love you all and I hope to see you very soon.